Hey guys, welcome back to B Man's World where you create your own world. Now, if it's your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because today we're going to do something a little bit, a little bit different. So, in today's video, I'm going to do kind of like a how to of how I um, keep my Pokemon cards and how I set up my, my Pokemon card binder. So, let's get into it. Alright, guys, so. If you're new to Pokemon or if you've been with Pokemon and you notice that there's a lot of different types of methods that you can, um, you know, just store your Pokemon cards. You can put them in decks. You can put them in little portfolios. I mean, let me grab a little portfolio for you to, so you can see what I'm talking about. So like this, this mini portfolio here. Um, so I opened up this in a previous video, uh, Unified Minds, and I believe Ultra Prism. So you can have this. You can have this method. Um, this is cool, but I feel like once you close it, and then you just when and then when you open it, you're just kind of going like one card by one card. So it's cool if you want to maybe just have your Ultra Rares in one place by themselves outside of the set. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, if you're trying to put a whole set together, I would recommend, or at least the way I do it is I have a whole binder. So this right here, guys, is my sword and shield binder. Everything fell in the background. All right, let's just open it. Like this. Sorry, Miss. Uh, what was your name again? Guard of War. Oh my God, it's been forever since I opened that tin. Nice. All right, we'll we'll move these pokeballs out the way. So, so here's my sword and shield uh, binder. So as you know, um, Pokemon cards they're part of a set, right? So. At least for the Sword and Shield, there's 202 cards in the in the main set. Um, so there's rare cards or secret rare cards that go past this number. So to start off your binder, you would follow um, this number that you have here. So on like a common card like Rosalia, you know at least for all the cards... The maximum number that I have is 202. So with that being said, you start you start putting based off of the Pokemon number. So in the Sword and Shield, Rosalia is number two. You see that 002. So what I do, let me just do a little 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 adjusting. Little teensy peensy adjusting. So what I do is I grab, I go and buy um, these packs, these pages. So nine pocket squares. So I got this from Walmart. It was like maybe $5. So it holds up to 315 cards, 35. All right, so basically you just grab a bunch of these and then you just put it in an empty binder. And that's step one of how to set up your binder. So now you just grab a couple of sheets and then you just put them. And as you uh, continue building your, your cards, you'll have more sheets. I kind of prefer maybe this method a little bit better than a binder that already has pages in it because you have like the flexibility to move these out. You know, you have a just standard three ring binder, move them out. You can add if you wanted to, you could add another set into it. Um, you can, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll add all, um, all the coins that we collected from Sword and Shield, you also put it in here. So you have some flexibility that this thing is not fastened, that you can you can you can do that. So let me just go back to the basics of 
what we were talking about. So, again, so, for example, Rosalia is number two, so you would count. So, you know, it's number two. So, start off, start off with the top left. This is Pokemon card number one. I don't have it yet. So, it's blank, two, and so forth. So, one thing also that you'll notice about Pokemon cards, the way they have it set up, it goes by by type. So, I think most of the Pokemon cards kind of have the same scheme. So, in this scenario, we have um, Sword and Shield. So, Sword and Shield is starting off with the plant type or leaf type Pokemon. Right? It keeps on going. Grass. 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 So, then... So, so here I have a... Here I have a hiccup. You see? So that's what I'm talking about. So it needs to go grass, grass, grass. And then it should be fire. So here. So here this this yamper is out of position. So we'll take the yamper out. We'll put them to the side. Don't worry guys. I have a bunch of sword and shield cards that we're going to put in our binder. So it'll go fire. Like this. So it'll continue with fire. Then after fire, you will. Yeah, this was that uh, rare Cinderace that we pulled. So check that video out. Fire. Then it goes into water. Water, water, water. Electric. So again, what you're doing is you're putting the cards, for example, Chin Chow, number 68. So you would count, okay, based on the squares, number 68. So I have 68, 69, 70 is Joltik. So that's the 70 position right there. And so on, and then it goes to the Psychic Pokemons. And then it goes into the fighting Pokemon. Then it goes to the special. Or I think these are, yeah, this is the metal Pokemon. So Pharaoh Thorn, again, 131. Then it goes into the dark Pokemon. And then I think we have a hiccup here. But we'll fix that in this video. So you keep going through that. So you have the Pokemon, then their types, and then normally you would have the trainer cards. Again, it's all it's all based on number. There's that rare Marnie right there. One one sixty-nine. So and then you just keep going and going and going. All right, so we're gonna put we're gonna put the rest of these sword and shields in, and let's get into it. All right, guys. So I just adjusted the camera sideways because um, I didn't have room on my desk to put the stand. But regardless, so let me do a little bit of some stuff. All right. So, you know what? I'll, I'll put in the energies right now. So, these are all the energies that we pulled from Sword and Shield. So, if you can see on the bottom, it says 2020. So, I'm just going to group them up like this. And I'll open up the three ring binder. Never do it like that. Do it like this so you don't break it. Alright, so we're going to put... We're going to put that like that. So it's always good to put in some extra sheets just in case. So I have, we'll go, these don't necessarily have numbers on them. You can, you can put them based on your, your, I don't know, your, your, your preference. So there's no right or wrong way, but, so I'm going to just go water, fire, then I'm going to go to leaf, right? I'm gonna go to leaf like that. Then I'll do 
I'll do electric. Then I'll do fire. Fire. Uh, see, one thing. So this is from a different set. You see, it says twenty seven. It says twenty seventeen. So that's from some other set. So keep the twenty twenty in there. Oops, I missed. I missed one electric. Put that in there. Then we have dark. Put that in there. And then we'll put. The metal there and then also what I'll do while I have the camera like this I have all the coins that we collected from sword and shield and then I'm just gonna put them so I'm I would I would definitely recommend if you're gonna put coins with your cards make sure that you put the coins at the last sheet this is kind of the last last sheet right here so weight and everything they don't they don't crush your cards so here's our our nine tails we'll put that up there so I, I personally I, I would say I, I like the coins because you can just put them like that another coin put it like that coin like that coin like that put that like that all right so we have our coins like that like i said i would definitely put it at the end if you don't want to put it in here you don't have to but i feel like if you don't put it in any any place that's dis displayed you're going to forget about it honestly so we have our energies here and then let's see the sword and shield cards that we have all right so first let's start just with like the regular cards so let me go ahead and put these in order first all right guys so i'm back so what i did was i put the cards in order based on the numbers so these are i guess you can say just the, like basic common cards and then i also have these three which i'll show you later you've seen them in other videos but these are um my ultra rares from sword and shield so stick around all right now so we're just going to go straight to it so here's rosalia so we'll, we'll put her in there uh, we have mr crabby so crabby is in the water section so one thing i See, this is a good example. So, you have Krabby, but there's also two versions of Krabby. So, you have to make sure that whichever Krabby you put, it's, it's, it's that version. So, this is Krabby number 43. So, he's going to go on the bottom over here. Then we have a Drizzile, number 57. So, he's... He's up there, so we'll, we'll we'll put him we'll put him up here. All right, the yamper that was all out of whack. He's part of the electric people, so this is my electric area. So he is number seventy three, which would make him go seventy, seventy one, seventy two. 73 so he's gonna go right up top over here all right then we have a galarian zigzagoon dark pokemon 117 so we're gonna flip 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 so he is he is down there All right, now we have a five hole, 126. So 126 means he is, let's see. So we have 
122, 23, 24, 25, 26. So he's going to go right here like that. Then we have a, a pharaoh seed. He's going to go right up here like that. And then we have a rye horn which I believe is before so we just have to go back a couple pages rye horn and then we have a reverse hollow uh, bow toy he is 101 so where is 101 right over here so I'll show you that once he's in so you have reverse hollow bow toy. We have two trainer cards, evolution incense and Pokemon catcher. So for your reference, all trainer cards are always at the back of the set. So, so if you don't want to keep going by numbers, so here you go. We have our evolutions or evolution incense. So we're going to go like that. Put that in there. And then Pokemon Catcher is number 175, which is all the way up here. So, so far, I don't think I have any ultra rares. These are my ultra rares. So, we have a Zamazenta V, Cramorant V and a rainbow rare more peco v max so let's take care of the these guys first so zamazenta v he's number 139 so that's our first ultra rare let me see 139 139 let's see 139, so 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So, so Zama, Zamazenta V is all the way back here by himself. Let's take a look at that guy. Super cool. All right, and then Cramorant V is 55. 155, sorry. So, so, 139, let's see, 153 in the, in the Wooloos, 153, 154, and then 155, right up top, right up top, right there, Cramorant V. Now, our last card that we're going to put in is this Morpeco V Max, now you see, He's 204 out of 202, so he is a rainbow rare, secret rare. He's outside of that that number um, system. So what I would do in, th in this case, what I'm going to do is right before um, these, or you know what, because this is one of the rarest card, and it is the rarest card that I have. So what I'll do is, um, and it's not necessarily in number order so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this last sheet out close this i'm going to put him actually in the front this way this way he has kind of like his own his own platform you can put him in the front you can put him in the back but i would i would i would put him in the front because hey that's that's your rainbow rare card why would you why would you hide it back there and bury it so for now and i hope we can get more rainbow rares out of the more peco i mean out of the sword and shield but for now we're gonna put them right up there in the front all right guys so that's gonna wrap up this video so if you like this video make sure you do a couple things one make sure you subscribe two Hit the like button three tell me what kind of method you use to store your pokemon cards um do you use something like this do you use something different and 
finally, the people who stuck around to watch, here are some codes for you. That is one, that is two, and last but not least, B-Man and his binder are out.